everybody. I'm Mickey Thomas of the Starship, and I'd like to take a moment to talk with you about an organization that's near and dear to my heart, Noah's Wish. Noah's Wish was founded in 2002 with the single focus of saving animals during disasters with their rescue and recovery services. Based in El Dorado Hills, California, Noah's Wish operates with a small core staff for maximum efficiency and cost effectiveness. The organization is supported by a growing base of over 1,400 committed volunteers throughout the United States and Canada, all of whom have been professionally trained to mobilize and respond to disasters. Katrina was a defining moment for the organization. In the aftermath, Noah's Wish scrambled to set up a temporary shelter in Slidell just 72 hours after the storm devastated the Gulf Coast. They organized 875 volunteers who would amass 41,500 hours of service over the next three months. During that time, they sheltered nearly 2,000 animals, reuniting 75% of them with their owners. The rest were given shelter till they could be fostered or adopted. An increasing number of animals will be saved as Noah's Wish expands its education, networking, and disaster response services across the United States and Canada. This will be accomplished by educating, and preparing individuals, communities, and organizations to mitigate the impact of disasters on animals, recruiting, training, and maintaining a committed team of volunteers, developing working relationships with emergency response agencies and animal welfare organizations, and continuing to provide the highest standard of disaster response services. Noah's Wish stresses reunification of animals with their families. This is the importance of having procedures and record keeping that track animals from the time they receive them until they are returned home. Their goal is to reunite all animals with their families. And you can help with your generous donations to Noah's Wish. Thank you all very much. Animals are very important to us, to Rachel and myself. We have lots of animals and and I remember, you know, we mentioned K Katrina during the, uh, the PSA and the thing that stuck in my mind more than anything else after uh, Katrina was, you know, the film of, you know, rescuing a lot of, old, especially older people, um, may maybe being airlifted or whatever and being separated from their animals. And there were, I just remember there were many, many people who would choose to stay behind and even die if necessary in their flooded homes rather than be separated from their animals who were like family members to them. And that just really stuck with me. I thought that was very sad and touching and, and that more consideration needs to be given for not only rescuing the humans but rescuing their animals and you know, trying, you know, finding a way to keep humans united with their animals and not have to separate.